Yeah, sure. Um, I started 12 years ago. I've been in the industry for, for 12 years. And um, I started Bullfrog, uh, working on Dungeon Keeper 2 at the time as a programmer. Um, my original degree was in computer science uh, back at uh, Glasgow University. And uh, my first, actually, proper job was, was the placement at Bullfrog. From there on, uh, I took off in a slightly different direction and actually worked for uh, something, something interesting but at the same time rewarding was the NHS Research Department. And um, the NHS Research Department at the time was uh, concentrated on uh, building games for uh, children with cerebral palsy. And um, essentially it was a rehabilitation uh, game which was based on the rehabilitation devices which would uh, be used as joysticks, uh, which is a fantastic job. I absolutely loved it. I, I loved being involved in it. And uh, as it often happens, NHS has shut down the entire department and never was made redundant. <laughs> I think games are not looked upon uh, these days as something that uh, you know t teenage boys uh, play in their own bedrooms. Uh, they're more. It's widely accepted in uh, in almost every walk of life in every industry and uh, it's literally, you can't go, get away from it. These days I'm involved, um, even though, with my games background, involved from anything from the fashion industry to almost, you know, heavy duty um, uh, in, industrial industry, which still is interested in, in involving people who, who have been in the games industry or want to get into the games industry in a slightly different perspective. In the games industry, you need to have knowledge from every side of life is uh, you have to be absolutely multi-skilled because you essentially create virtual worlds. And uh, you need to know how the world works. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the bottom, bottom line of it. If you're creating a racing game, you have to know about physics. You have to know um, about graphics. You have to know a little bit about cars. You need to be interested in it. You need to be involved in it from, from certain perspective. Even if you're an artist, you can't be purely an artist. You need to know how, how things work. How, the physics of even uh, human anatomy, jumping, you name it, is, is all use, useful to know. And um, as, as, a, as a programmer, you need to know about art, you need to know how it works, because you will be working closely with, with other artists who perhaps won't know as much about technology. You have, to be, you have to truly be work as a team and come up with uh, one, one single uh, work as a unit. At the moment, the, the industry, despite the economic slump that we had uh, in the last year or so, uh, the industry is really picking up uh, from now on. Is uh, things have, have, are springing up again, and uh, lots of new companies appear ev every year. In fact, in the last six months, I can think of personally at least 12 companies which have started up um, in UK and looking currently to, to recruit to, uh, talented individuals. As a programmer, to refer to a previous statement, you really need to be a multi skill You can't just be a good, a good programmer as somebody who understands the process of how the game is actually created, how this world is created. Not just knowing the, you know, C++ or whatever the language you're programming on, not just knowing one console, be truly multi skill transparent, look into, you know, absorb the knowledge from, from the world around you and understand how it works to create one. I think uh, in, in terms of uh, games development at the moment, it's, uh, there's a big focus on moving away from uh, the, the basic control system. The control system are really evolving at the moment. It's, it's, the world is, uh, is, is, is the oyster at the moment. Uh, everybody, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, all trying to go in slightly different directions. But at the same time, it's all it's all the same. The end goal is to create an innovative control system where uh, you are the controller and uh, remove people from being wired up, from sitting on the sofa, being a little bit more active and um, enjoy the game more, which also opens up uh, different, um, different ages. Uh, different ages are more open to games, gaming experience as it becomes more and more like real life. I think uh, at the moment, it's all about experimenting. All, all the major technologies they have is literally an experiment brought into life to see how, what happens. Will people take into it? Will people enjoy it? 
will it bring more customers at the end of the day to the games industry and more more people on the side of the of the games um, in, in all walks of life and that brings a lot more new opportunities to a new talent and to suggest of uh, new and innovative technologies which might come in the future.